Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ashley and today is day five, day five in my makeup inventory. I've had so much fun making this series. This was very much inspired by my friend here on YouTube, Paula. Her channel is A Beauty Guru Made Me Do It. This is how she does her inventory and when I discovered it, I was absolutely hooked. First of all, I find it so interesting to see what other people have in their collections. But also, I love the idea of being able to look back on these videos to see how my collection has sort of changed over the years. And I really find it very helpful to see all of my makeup laid out in this way to really get a better sense of what I have in my collection. I have a lot of makeup. I love my makeup. I have no concerns over the size of my makeup collection with the exception of probably my lip category. Um, but it's really easy to forget everything that you have when it's tucked away in drawers and shelves and you don't see it as often. Laying it all out there and really seeing it all next to each other is really helpful I feel like. So so far we have done base products, complexion products, lip products, and the first part of my eye products. I will have my playlist linked in the description box below so that if you haven't seen those you can go ahead and binge and see everything else that I have in my collection. But today we are going to be talking about my eyeshadow palettes and I think for many people this is the one that you've been waiting for. It is definitely for me the most exciting part of my collection. You guys know I love eyeshadow. I have such a weakness for eyeshadow palettes, whether it be the formulas or the packaging, very often the packaging, color stories, things like that. I just, I really enjoy eyeshadow. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into my eyeshadow palettes. All right, so here we have my eyeshadow duos. I don't know how many I had last year because apparently I didn't keep track of that. It must have been just mixed in with my singles. But as of right now, I have four duos. So we have this one that was in my Panning Solitaire from last year. This is my duo that is from Pixie by Petra. I have this little Smashbox duo that looks like that. I have this one from the Becca Christy Teigen collab. Down here is this weird kind of like jelly part. I will not use that, but the actual bronzy shimmery eyeshadow is beautiful, so I am holding on to it. And then this right here is not technically an eyeshadow. This is supposed to be a um, blush and highlighting duo from Natasha Denona, but I don't use it that way. This is an incredibly glittery highlighter, and that is just not for me. It's just not my personal preference. It came shattered. So I have repressed it, and then this is what it looks like. So the uh, the um, blush just does not suit my skin tone, and this highlighter is just not what I want for my cheeks. But for your eyes, absolutely stunning. So I just use them as eyeshadows. All right, so here we have all of my eyeshadow trios. Again, I don't know how many I had last year because I didn't track it. I must have just lumped it in with my individual eyeshadows. But as of today, I have a total of seven trios. I have this one here from Naked Cosmetics. I think this came in like a boxy charm a whole long time ago, but the colors are just magnificent. I know that these three are new. I found them at Marshalls for like $3.99. These are the Kaja Stacks. I've been wanting them for ages, so I did pick up three of those. I have this one in Orange Blossom. I have Rose Water, and I have Chocolate Dahlia. So I'm very excited about those. I haven't used them yet, but I'm really excited for them. I have this little mini trio from Smashbox. This was in my Panning Solitaire project. And then I've got these two here from Dear Dahlia. I love this brand. Their aesthetic is amazing. Look at this like marbled look. But this has a little trio inside. So you open up the one side and it has this little duo in there of, and this one it's kind of satiny mattes. And then it's got a foiled eyeshadow on this side. Really, really pretty. This one is in the style Caramel Slice. And then I also have this one here. This is in this style, Coco Delight. Again, we've got a split pan of two matte shadows. 
and then we have a foiled shimmer on the top. Really, really fun, great for travel. Really, really like those, but yeah, so this is all of my trios. All right, as far as eyeshadow trios go, I've only got three. I have two from e.l.f. I have this one in, what is this? Berry Bad. And then I also have this one here, which is Rosewater. And then I've got this Charlotte Tilbury Quad. This is actually brand new, still in the box. This is in Pillow Talk, I believe. Oh, yeah, Pillow Talk. So these are my three eyeshadow quads. Here we have all of my five pan eyeshadow palettes. I have three here from Natasha Denona. I've got the mini Lila, the mini Star, and the mini Retro. I have this one here from Pat McGrath. These were recently on sale for $14. I bought it when it was still $25, but either way, this is absolutely gorgeous quality and if you can get your hands on it especially at $14 I would totally recommend it I hope they're not discontinuing them because I think they're really really nice I have this amazing palette from dose of colors this is the cutting edge palette and it is so pretty I love it so so much I have this one here this is my copper theory palette from persona cosmetics and then this came in a boxy charm. This is by Blink, and it looks like this right here. So, 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 so pretty. And then let me close it up so I don't blind you. And then I've got this little guy here from Lancome. This came as a free gift with the perfume that my husband got me when we got married. Alrighty, so here we have all of my six pan eyeshadow palettes. I've got these three city minis here. I have two of the full-sized Pat McGrath palettes as well as this little mini one. I have the Party Favor palette from Urban Decay. I have this one here from Stila. I have three little minis from Juvia's Place as well as this Better London one that came in a BoxyCharm. And I really, really love this one. It looks like this. It is so freaking stunning. I, I love it. So that is a total of 12 six pan eyeshadow palettes. All right, so I have just two little seven pan eyeshadow palettes. I have my editorial palette from Marc Jacobs, which you guys will remember from my pan those eyeshadows from this past year, as well as this holiday Becca palette that honestly is more like the highlighters than actual eyeshadows, but it was marketed as an eyeshadow palette, so that's what I have it as. This is all of my eight pan eyeshadow palettes. At least I think this is all of them. I really thought that I had another one that was similar to this from Tarte, but I don't remember which one it was and I don't see it anywhere, so we'll see if it magically appears at some point in time. But I have these two here from Tarte. This one I have attempted to pan and attempted to pan again and it just stays around because I am apparently a glutton for punishment. I have this little bitty Laura Geller, this Bobbi Brown, which is actually kind of fun. It uh, opens up and then slides out. Gimmicky, sure. Adorable, yes. I have these two here. They are from, um, this one's from Wet n Wild. This is their comfort zone. This is definitely an OG eyeshadow palette. And then this one here is the Downtown Browns. This is from Black Radiance. We have the Gold True Naked from Color Girl. Cover Girl, sorry. This here from ColourPop, the Semi Precious palette. This palette is really nice. I'm very sad that they discontinued it. This was the holiday release in 2018, if I'm not mistaken. But the shadows in here are really, really nice. I have this little one from Ulta, which is a newer acquisition. It came as a gift with purchase, but I really love the look of these shades. I'll be honest, when it comes to Ulta, their house brand, it's very hit and miss for me personally, so I'll be interested to give this a try to see what I think. This one here from Sephora, I got a couple of years ago as well, and it's just this cute little I kept it around because it's got cool tones and I don't have a ton of those in my collection. Although finally cool tones are starting to come back in trend. So that may change, but 
that is this one here and then I've got these two little Rainforest of the Sea Tarte palettes which actually I feel like I had another one of these as well this one is number two and this one is number three I thought I had one that had a pink face this is when you know you've got a lot of makeup when you can't find it all so in total I have 13 eight pan eyeshadow palettes these are my nine pan eyeshadow palettes. I have the Warrior by Juvia's. I have the Saharan 2 as well as the Nomad. I love the Nomad palette. It is, oh, look at that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I also have the Saffron palette from Suva Beauty. I don't know that I've actually ever used this, which is kind of embarrassing. I got it from Hot Look. And it's really, really beautiful, but I think with my Pan Those Eyeshadows project, I've just had so many warm tone shades that I just haven't pulled for this, but it's really, really beautiful, and I'm very interested to try the Suva Beauty eyeshadow formula. I have this from Emmy Cosmetics. This is the Monet Jasper palette. This is in the first variation, which is the lighter one. Really, really pretty. I have She's Got Solstice from ColourPop. Very old uh, Too Faced palette. I believe that this has been repackaged and reformulated. This is the Too Faced Natural Eyes palette as well as the Too Faced Cat Eye palette. This is from Winky Lux. This came in a boxy charm. This is the Kitten palette. This is the very first eyeshadow palette that I purchased from Sephora. This is the Ciate London and Olivia. Palermo. I don't know why I couldn't say that. And I'll be honest, I don't love this eyeshadow formula like at all. I think the colors are really, really interesting. They're these really kind of grungy cool tones, but I just don't feel like they perform super well. But I can't bring myself to get rid of this palette because like I said, it's the first one that I ever got from Sephora, which is a dumb reason to keep it. But I have this delusion that at some point I'm going to dip into this and actually pan it but we'll see if that actually happens. I have this nine pan eyeshadow palette from Kiko Milano as well as my NYX Love and Love Paris. This is the Aladdin palette from MAC, the Huda Beauty Lilac Pastel palette as well as the Huda Beauty Mauve Obsessions palette. These were so good. I don't know why they got discontinued. Um, a decent sort of dupe for it is this from Lottie London. This is the Jules palette. This is what the Jules palette looks like. And then this is what the Huda palette looks like. So if you can't get your hands on the Huda palette, then this one from Lottie London is kind of a great stand-in. I think the formula is nice. Obviously, it's not quite as good as the Huda one, but it is a really nice color dupe. And then finally, we have my ABH Norvina palette, just one of the minis. This is the second style, yeah, volume two. I'm really glad that I have this because I don't like it. <laughs> uh, I was really, really craving the, I think it was the fourth really big one that she released last year. And I was on the fence because it was expensive. But as I started playing with this one more and more, I realized that I just don't love the formula of the Norvina palettes, or at least of that one, which I assume is going to be similar to the other ones. So it really helped me not to buy that bigger palette. I just, I find the colors to be so interesting and not like anything else that I have in my collection. But also there's kind of a reason that I don't have a lot of these colors in my collection. I just don't really pull for them and I don't feel like they flatter me very well. But I do want to keep it around because it is different. So in total, I have 17 9 pan eyeshadow palettes. Moving on to my 10 pan eyeshadow palettes. There are 10 of these. The Essentials palette from Violet Voss. I'm sure I got this in a BoxyCharm. We have my beautiful Pat McGrath Mothership 5. Uh, bronze seduction palette we have my Dominique cosmetics the original latte palette this one here from crown came in a boxy charm it is just these beautiful warm tone browns i have two of the jaclyn hill vault palettes 
This one here is Bling Boss, which is a bunch of purples. And then this one is Dark Magic, which is a bunch of these grungy sort of tones. And honestly, now that I'm looking at this, this looks very similar to the um, at Forest Sight Palette from ColourPop that just came out. And I know I love the ColourPop formula so much more than the Morphe, especially in the Vault collection. So that's kind of interesting. I'll have to kind of play with the two of them side by side to see if they're both actually necessary to my collection. I have this unzipped Mountain Sunset palette from Lorac which is really, really beautiful. These are the shades in it. The Bobbi Brown New Nude Palette. Looks like this is beautiful. The shadows are really, really nice. Definitely much more subtle than many of the other palettes that I have. So I really like keeping this around. This was great for work, especially because you could create just really soft, more kind of work appropriate, but it also had some really pretty shimmers so you could kind of amp it up a little bit. So this was really nice for that, especially. We have my NYX Avant Pop palette, which I don't really know how I feel about, gonna have to explore it more. And then this beauty right here is my Dosa Colors Friendcation palette, which is stunning. Here we have round one of my 12 pan palettes. These are all of my Urban Decay Naked palettes. Uh, this one here too, this one is the Ultimate Basics. We've got Ultraviolet, Smoky, Urban Decay two, or Naked 2, and the original Naked palette. I have Celestial Storm from Dominique Cosmetics. Two different NARS palettes, this one's the Narcissist. This one is, oh, I'm sorry, this is the Narcissist Wanted palette, and this one is Ignited. I also have my 12 pan ColourPop palette, the original um, Say Yes, no, yeah, Say Yes palette, at Forest Zodiac, Give It To Me Straight, Salvaje, Flutter By, and You Had Me At Hello. I have two of the little Tartlet palettes, the Toasted and the In Bloom, and then three of the Juvia's Place 12 pan palettes. This is the Nubian 2, Afrique, and the original Nubian. And round two of my 12 pan palettes, we have my Cargo Cosmetics Emerald palette, or Emerald City palette, rather. This is actually much newer to my collection. This is the Plain Jane palette from Adept Cosmetics. White Peach from Too Faced, the Pure Festival palette. I have my beloved Persona Cosmetics Identity palette. Pure's Soiree Diaries. This one here from Makeup Forever. This was their holiday palette in 2018, I wanna say. We have Storybook Cosmetics, Wizarding and Witchcraft. My Kevin Aquan Nude Pop. Master by Mario ABH palette. My Becca Volcano Goddess. This down here is my Fortune Teller palette from Wicked Sisters Cosmetics. Nightingale palette from Pretty Vulgar. Paradise Enchanted from L'Oreal. We have my Foiled Again palette from The Balm. My Laura Geller Iconic New York collection. And this one from Sleek, which absolutely cracks me up. And I'm totally going to pan it one of these days. But <laughs> look at how tiny those little pans are. So funny. So those are all of my 12 pan eyeshadow palettes of which I have 37. Here are some of my more odd numbered palettes. This is my 11 pan palette. This is my Tarte Light, um, Make Believe in Yourself palette which I hunted and hunted and hunted for and I'm so glad that I have in my collection. This Too Faced Life's a Festival palette has 13 pans my Urban Decay Elements palette and my BH Cosmetics Desert Oasis. Both of these have 19 pans. 14 pan eyeshadow palettes are for the most part going to be my ABH palette. So we have Norvina, Soft Glam, the Jackie Ina palette, which is amazing. We also have Subculture, so the Sultry palette, which again, absolutely phenomenal. This 
as of today should still be on sale in kind of a gift pack for the holidays. So amazing, pick it up if you can. There's also the Prism palette as well as my little Tarte Making Waves, what is this actually called? Be a Mermaid and Making Waves palette. So these are my seven 14 pan palettes. These are my 15 pan palettes. I have two Nabla palettes. This is the Secret Garden and Poison Garden. My two Natasha Denona's. This is Sunset and the Lila palette. I have my Lunar Beauty Moonspell palette. That is the back. No, that is the front. Just kidding. This is my Sydney Grace Endearing Love palette, as well as Autumn Rain. I have my Misunderstood palette from ColourPop, the Disney Designer Collection, All You See Is Magic, and Golden State of Mind, as well as my Too Faced I Want Candy palette and two 15 Pan Morphe palettes. One is Day Slayer, and the other one is uh, Social Butterfly. So these are, let me show them to you. So this one is Social Butterfly. And then this one is, I think it's called Day Slayer. Yeah, Day Slayer. This one came in a boxy charm. Very brown, very orange. So those are my 15 pan eyeshadow palettes. There are 14 of them. The second largest category in my eyeshadow palettes are my 16 pan eyeshadow palettes. I have two of the Lorac Pro. This is the Pro 2. Yep, yeah, Pro 2, and I think this is the Pro 3. Yes, Pro 3. I have my Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons palette, my Original Chocolate Bar palette, and the Chocolate Gold. I have this one here from Zisa. I'm not gonna lie, I have not had a chance to really play with this very much. This I purchased 100% for the packaging. This they did in collaboration with the British Museum, which I love the British Museum. I am not gonna lie, when I was in London, while I did love the British Museum, the V&A was still my favorite, but this is just a really neat collection, and so I wanted to pick up at least something. And this one here with the snake on the front, I thought was super gorgeous. This is what the shadows look like inside. Again, I haven't played with them overly much, so I don't really have an opinion for you yet, but I'm really excited to play with it more because there are some interesting textures in here. I also have my NYX Ultimate Ash Palette, Fenty Beauty Moroccan Spice. This is the Original Magic Palette by Juvia's. This is one that has the big old Mac Daddy uh, Pados, blah, 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 pans of eyeshadow that I will never ever finish, but it is such a stunning color story. We also have my Nabla Side by Side Nude Palette. And then this is the Kat Von D 10th Anniversary Palette. To finish out this category, we have all of my BH Cosmetics and ColourPop palettes that are again 16 pans. We have this line here. You guys have heard me rave over and over and over again. This is the BH Cosmetics. This is their, I don't know what it's technically called, but it's basically their travel series. So I've got Beautiful in Barcelona, Smitten in Switzerland, Summer in Saint Tropez, and Love in London. I absolutely love these so, 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 so much. We also have the Illusion palette from ColourPop. I have my Through My Eyes palette, the Perception palette, and Fame, which was sadly discontinued, I'm guessing because they came out with a whole big monster palette full of similar shades, but this is a beautiful palette. So in total for my 16 pan palettes, I own 19. These are my 18 pan palettes. I have four here from Too Faced, the Clover palette, the original Sweet Peach, the Pumpkin Spice palette. This is the Christmas release from 2020 and the original Gingerbread Spice, which was the Christmas release for 2018. I have my Bare Minerals, the Hidden Treasure palette. This is brand new to me. This is the Pat McGrath this is the Celestial Divinity palette. Guys, this is so pretty. I am so freaking stoked to have this in my collection. It is so pretty. I have my beloved Natasha Denona Star palette, one of my very favorite palettes in the entirety of my collection. It is absolutely magnificent. 
I have a couple of here from BH Cosmetics. This is the Galaxy Chic and the Supernova palette. My Lime Crime Venus XL2. Huda Beauty's Mercury Retrograde. ColourPop Sandstone. Elf Retro Paradise. And from Profusion, because I just can't think anymore. Uh, from Profusion, this is the Color Spell Smoked Neutrals palette. I picked that up. Uh, maybe like a month and a half ago or so, just because everybody talks so much about the formula of, of um, Profusion that I really wanted to check it out. I haven't played around enough with it to form an opinion, but I'm excited that it's in my collection. Here are my 20 pan eyeshadow palettes. I have from Juvia's Place the um, original Wahala palette. I have my Urban Decay Heavy Metal. I have three from Violet Voss. This is Like a Boss. This is their collab with Nicole Concilio. And then this one is their Holy Grail palette. This is from Marc Jacobs. It was their holiday palette from 2018, I think. It's called The Wild One. I have my Tardist Pro Remix. This gets a lot of flack, but I actually really like this palette. It is definitely more of an accompanying palette. It's certainly not something that is standalone. But I really like it. I think these shimmers are really, really pretty. And I think that especially for Tarte, this was very out of the box for them. And I like it. And then also we have my BH Cosmetics Royal Affair palette. Again, this is one of my favorite palettes. I think the color story in it is so stunning. It is just a lot of really sort of cool toned variety of shades and I really quite like it a lot. These are some more sort of oddly numbered palettes. My Urban Decay Born to Run palette has 21 shades. Both of these here, the Revolution Makeup Emily Edit Palette and the Kat Von D Saints and Sinners Palette, both of these have 24 pans. My Lorac Mega Pro 4 has 32. And then this Mac Daddy up here is my Makeup Revolution Maxi Reloaded Palette and it has 45 pans of eyeshadow. I do have two 30 pan eyeshadow palettes. This is very new to me. This is the BH Cosmetics Naughty Palette. This is their Christmas 2020 release. And then I also have the Too Faced Natural Lust Palette that came out earlier this year, I think. I'm pretty sure that this was a 2020 release, but I could be wrong because I've got no sense of time anymore. This is a really stunning palette that doesn't get nearly enough use in my collection. It is just full of all of these beautiful, beautiful neutral tones, as the name does suggest, but this is a really, really great palette. I have five 35 pan eyeshadow palettes. Of course, they are all from Morphe. So this one is the Fall Into Frost, which I absolutely love, love, love. These are even older. This is the 35T. This is the Dope Taupe palette. That is what we're looking like. This one is the 35E. I have no idea what the name of this one is. I feel like I got the two of these off of like Hope Look or something, so who knows how old they actually are. And oh my God, this clasp, come on. This is the 35E, lots and lots of shimmers. In fact, I'm pretty sure they're all shimmery, like satiny sort of shimmers. Of course, I've got the Jaclyn Hill palette. This is the original one. And then this is probably the newest one. This is the 35C Everyday Chic. I like this palette. Although it definitely is extremely similar to the Revolution Emily Edits palette. Like almost a shade for shade dupe, just in a different order. But what I will say is that this palette really only works for fair skin complexions like mine. A girlfriend of mine who has a very deep complexion bought this and just it was unusable for her. So it's definitely got a very specific market that it is geared towards, which is quite unfortunate. But I will say personally, I do enjoy this palette. 
All right, so there you have it. Those are all of my eyeshadow palettes laid out by pan category. And I really like that I broke it down that way. Now, the number that I have to compare to last year does not have them broken down in that way. It's just a lump sum because I was not nearly as crazy last year as I am this year, maybe. But I really enjoyed seeing them all in that way. So I hope that you did as well. Let's talk numbers. So I definitely had a big eyeshadow year this year as I typically do. Um, now this might be slightly skewed because I'm not sure if in my individual eyeshadows I counted things like my duos, trios, and possibly quads. I used to house all of those in the same drawer because oftentimes you would have them in smaller packaging. So I'm not 100% sure, but last year I indicated that I had 142 eyeshadow palettes and this year I have 178. Even if we're just um, excluding the duos, trios, and quads, that's still quite a few palettes that came into my life. So. Do I need any more eyeshadow? Of course not. Am I probably going to buy more eyeshadow in the coming year? Probably so, yeah. Um, I'm trying to be a little bit more selective in the eyeshadow palettes that I purchase because one thing that is 100% true is that I have a lot of repetition across all of those palettes because those were the shades and the styles and the color stories that were trendy. Warm eyeshadows, I have so much warm eyeshadow because in most palettes it's a whole bunch of warm neutrals and then some pops of colors here and there which is why I really shifted a lot to individual eyes or uh, single eyeshadows rather. So I'm trying to be a little bit more selective. I do feel like the trend is moving more cool toned which I personally love and felt feel like it should have happened sooner. I predicted that 2020 was going to be more into cool eyeshadow tones than it was so I am really excited for that shift but what that means is that there will be more eyeshadow palette purchases because I have holes in my collection notice because there's not a single hole in my collection <laughs> uh, what can you say um, so yeah I, I do definitely want to be more selective with the eyeshadow palettes that I do purchase in this coming year but that's where we're at as far as eyeshadow palettes go. And again, thank you so much for going through this journey with me. If you are new, certainly welcome. And I really hope that you'll consider subscribing before you leave. I'd love to know what is your favorite makeup category across them all? Where are the areas that you find yourself buying from again and again and again, most often without apology, because let's face it, this is what we love. Regardless of the size of your collection, if it's something that makes you happy, especially after the year that we've had, make yourself happy. Make yourself happy. So, thank you so much for spending some time with me today. I hope that you're having an amazing day, and I will see you next time. Bye.